Hello, I'm Barry Shore, Professor Emeritus at the University of New Hampshire and Head of Content Development here at SSGI. DMAIC is a Lean Six Sigma framework that guides us through a logical sequence of steps when addressing a problem or opportunity. It guides us from the very first to the very last step. Five stages are involved. Define the problem, measure the problem, analyze and make sense of the data, improve the situation, and control the process so that it continues to perform as expected. These stages are often referred to by the acronym DEMAIC. The first is DEFINE. It answers the question, what is the real problem we are facing and how can it be described? Answering this question may not be obvious or easy. It may not be obvious because the problem that is expressed may be a symptom of an underlying problem, much the same way that a person's temperature may be a symptom of a much more serious health issue. Sometimes you need to dig deep to get to the root cause or fundamental issue. If you don't get there, you run the risk of doing a great job at solving the wrong problem. The second step in DMAIC involves measurements to better understand the problem. And measurements require data. Sometimes the data is readily available, but at other times, it may have to be collected by retrieving data stored in a database or by distributing and then summarizing questionnaires. At this point, we also need to ask if the data are accurate. Once again, we need to be careful. If the source is not reliable, and if the measurements are not accurate, not only may the outcome of the project fail to meet its goals, but we have missed an opportunity to make a difference. Have you used a fitness watch to record your steps or measure your heart rate during exercise? Reviews do suggest that many are not very accurate. But in a business decision, we need accuracy. The third step focuses on analyzing data to better understand the problem, further reveal its root cause, and point to a solution. How can the data be analyzed? Here there are many choices. We might use spreadsheets to summarize the data. We might use charts such as a bar or pie chart to visually display the data, and we might use statistical tools such as regression analysis and hypothesis testing to raise our analysis to another level. The next step is to improve the situation. Depending upon the nature of the problem, this could be as simple as eliminating steps, purchasing new equipment, scheduling a training session, or as complex as redesigning almost every step in a process. Often, we cannot determine in advance which of several alternatives might work. In this situation, experiments can help. In website design, for example, we might try several different designs and see which one leads to the most responses. We call it A-B analysis. The real challenge when we attempt to improve a process is resistance to change. Those on the team might prefer the routines and familiarity of the old process. So working with them involves not just process skills, but behavioral skills as well. In this final stage of DMAIC, steps are taken to ensure that the process stays in control, that it delivers, what we expect it to deliver. Indeed, process outputs change over time. What was once a process that was in control can eventually change to one that is out of control. But how can we become aware of this? The answer is that we periodically monitor output and plot the results on what we call a control chart. Ben & Jerry's samples output regularly to ensure its ice cream meets standards. When it doesn't, they readjust the machines. 
A hospital samples patient satisfaction regularly and compares the result to their standards. When the results suggest there is a problem, leaders work with staff to ensure they get back on track. So at Ben & Jerry's, they sample a number of ice cream containers every shift, cut the container into quarters, and measure the quality of the ice cream, as well as the number and distribution of mix-ins like fudge or raspberry swirl. The results are then plotted on a control chart. Here is a very important point. The last step, control, is critical to the Demaic process. It basically tells us what the key performance indicators are of the process and ensures that quality will not be compromised over time. That's it. A very brief introduction to Demaic. If you enjoyed this presentation and found it helpful, we invite you to check out the more than 30 courses we offer in process management and leadership. Click below for more information about the certification courses that will help you develop professionally.